So in the first beta of Cyril, they incorporated Graxpert for us, right? Everyone was excited about it, including myself. Well, guess what? Beta 2, they're announcing they're going to deprecate it now. They're not getting rid of it completely. They're, they're just taking it out of the image processing menu, and they have written it in Python and turned it into a script. And they did that because it gives them better management with the GPU and the different systems across the different OSs. And it also feels like it's running a little bit faster now, too. So I think it's a good thing. I just wanted to put this video out as soon as I could to let you guys know that the change is coming eventually. Eventually, the Graxpert interface in the image processing menu is going to be completely taken out. So let's jump into it. My name is Rich and you're watching Deep Space Astro. All right, so before we get started, just want to show you the next time that you run Graxpert, the interface that's actually in the image processing menu, what you can expect to see now that they're going to be deprecating that version of Graxpert and moving it over into a Python script. So let me just open up an image here real quick and we'll come out of linear go into auto stretch. So image processing, Graxpert interface, right? This was the video I just released not too long ago showing you guys how to use this. Starting with beta two, when you run it, you'll get a deprecation notice just telling you that this interface is going away and it's gonna be replaced with the Python script that we're talking about today in this video. You can still use this, it still works. But like I said, in beta two, you'll be prompted with that notice every time you run it. And then once we get out of beta into a stable release, this Graxpert interface will be completely removed move from the image processing menu. So with that being said, I would say just don't use it anymore. Start using the script. You might as well get yourself cut over to the new version of everything now instead of waiting last minute when it's taken away from you for good. So just like all the other scripts with this new version of Serial, super simple to install. We just come over to our burger menu, come into get scripts. Down on the bottom are all the scripts in Serial's repository. For this case, we want to look for Graxpert AI. Tick the box to the right and then click apply. Okay, now that we have the script installed, we still need to configure Serial to use Graxpert. But I do want to show you what it looks like if you don't configure Graxpert first, just so you're aware of the error message that will appear. So we'll start with just opening up one of my images. We're in linear. I'll bring it in the auto stretch. And if I was just to come up and click scripts, Python scripts, and then the Graxpert AI, the first thing you'll notice is it's going to download some additional modules for it to be used. So it only does this one time. First time you run it, it will take a minute or two, but next time you run it, it doesn't need to go through all this stuff. So just be patient, give it a couple minutes. And when it's done, we'll see the error message because we did not configure Graxpert pop up over on the console screen. Okay, so all the downloads and installation of the additional modules have completed, but you can see in the console, we're getting an error message that it cannot access or execute the Graxpert path. Path. That's because we haven't configured it. And then the last line is telling you it just exited the script again because we do not have Graxpert configured. So to do so, the first thing you need to do if you don't have Graxpert installed already is to come over to Graxpert's website and grab the latest stable release. Now, there is a beta version of Graxpert that includes deconvolution that some of you are probably aware of. Because deconvolution is still in beta in Graxpert, it is not included in Serial. If it ever does make it into a stable release, then I would assume the developers at Serial will include deconvolution as well. But for now, it is not included. So just be aware of that. All right. Once the installation is done, just run it. And before you click next, grab this path name right here. I'm just highlighting the path and hitting control C to copy it into my clipboard because that's what we need to configure Serial with. And then just click next through the rest of the prompts. And then finish when it's finished. And we can close our web browser because then we no longer need that. And then we're going to come over back into Serial. We're going to go to our burger menu, preferences, and then miscellaneous. And then down here where it says must point to a valid Graxpert executable, just click on the folder. And then up top, I'm just going to paste the path from the Graxpert installation. Hit enter. Now I'm in the Graxpert folder. I'm just going to scroll down until I find Graxpert.exe. Double click it. And now Serial is configured to be able to use Graxpert. Make sure you click your apply button and we're ready to go. Now, if you've previously done all that for the, the built-in integration over here under image processing, then you don't need to run through it again. It'll use that same configuration for the scripts, but I just wanted to cover it in case you're watching this video somewhere in the future after they've taken out the Graxpert integration from the image processing menu. So this is a brand new stack. I haven't done any processing with it at all, but just for good measure, I'll give it a quick crop just to take care of any stacking artifacts that may exist and then come over into scripts, 
Python scripts, and Graxpert AI. And there's our new interface. So under operation, we have denoising and background extraction. We have model selection. So the AI models that you currently have installed, we'll go over that here in a second. Your parameters, so your strength for both denoising or background extraction, depending on the operation that you have selected. Batch size, which usually you just leave it at four. And then our GPU acceleration. If when you go to use the denoising or the background extraction, if there's no models listed here, then you'll need to go into your Graxpert model manager. And it defaults to denoising. It's going to query the repository online, show you all the available models that you can download, select the ones that you want, and click download selected model. And give it a minute. Once it downloads it, it'll give you a message that it's complete. Click OK and then do the same thing for background extraction. Click refresh if it doesn't automatically update this list for you. Select the model that you want. Click download selected model. Same thing, it'll prompt you when it's done. After that, just click the close button to exit the model manager. And we'll start with background extraction. So I have the latest model selected. Smoothing defaults to one. I'm gonna back that down to around 0.8, but again, that's just one of those things, depending on your data, play with, see what gives you the best results. Our correction type is the same as always, subtraction or division. Nine times out of 10, you're gonna to wanna to be on subtraction. Everything else is default, and then just click apply. And like I said, it's the background extraction feels a little bit faster than it was even in the integration. So we're done with the background extraction right there. So I can do a before and after, and that was pretty quick. So now we'll jump over and we'll just run a denoising. Again, select your model, your strength. I'm going to bump my strength down to a little bit to maybe about 0.7. Same settings with the GPU and the batch size, just leave them at the defaults and then click apply. And even the denoising for me anyways, feels like it runs a little bit faster, but it still takes longer than the background extraction. You can see there's a processing percentage right here at the bottom of the window, as well as below the console screen. So I'm gonna pause the video until this completes and then we'll come back and take a look at the image. Okay, denoising is completed. So let's do the before and after. We'll zoom in a little bit for this one undo it. So that is our before. Let's get over here in the darker area so you can see the noise more and then redo. So yeah, it's, I mean, works just as well as it did with the first integration, but yeah, that's, that's just nice. It does a really good job of that. So once you're done with the script, obviously just click close and you're ready to move on with the rest of your processing. Okay. So Graxpert's still here, right? They just moved it over into a Python script for us. So like I said in the video, start using it now. You might as well get used to it because the original interface is going to go away as soon as the stable release hits the streets. I want to take the time right now to say thanks to all my members, both here on YouTube and on buymeacoffee.com. I appreciate each and every one of you. And if you are a member, my quick start processing guide for Serial is available to you for free as a membership perk. So if you haven't grabbed your copy yet, make sure you do so. As always, thank you everybody for your time. I appreciate all the comments, likes, the shares. It's all very much appreciated. You guys keep this channel going. You guys have helped me build this to where it's at today. So that's a wrap for this video. We'll see you on the next one and clear skies.